Equation of line given two points. This is question 6 of our set of 11 questions. Question 6. Find equation of line through the points A minus 3, 4 and B, 5, 4. So let's try to sketch it. You don't necessarily have to do it, right? But as a part of explaining, I feel it important and useful to do so. So A is minus 3, 4. So how do we get that? So it's a very rough sketch here. 1, 2, 3. That's minus 3. And 4 is up. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That's my point A. Point B is 5, 4. This is the x-coordinate and that is the y-coordinate. So x move horizontally 5 units right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 4 units up. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so we got this point. And now let's join this point with a line. What do we get? So we get a line like this. That is a horizontal line, correct? Well, it was expected to be horizontal since y value is 4 for both. So this is our point A. Let me write this as A is minus 3, 4, right? And that is B, which is 5, 4, right? So, so the y value is 4, right? All along this line. That is what you observe, right? So that is our x-axis and this is our y-axis. This is minus 3, so we went minus 3 and 4 up. And this point is 5 and 4 up. Now, we are writing our equation in slope-intercept form, which is y equals to mx plus b. Now, from this line, you can see clearly that your y-intercept b is 4, correct? And what is the slope for the line? It is a horizontal line. It doesn't rise, it doesn't fall, correct? is just flat here horizontal. So slope is 0. So in this case, if I write 0 here, what do I get? I get y equals to b, right? The y-intercept, which is 4. Also, you observe that the 4 value is same for both a and b. In fact, if I take any point on this line, y value will be 4. So equation of this line normally is y equals to the y-intercept or the y-values of the coordinates, which is y equals to 4. Now, so this is what we reasoned it out, correct? So let's put the reason on the side and do algebraically and figure out, do we really get it? So let's try to do it. So we're trying to write equation as y equals to mx plus b, right? To find slope, as usual, we will do change in y divided by change in x. So we say slope m equals to rise over run, which we say, well, change in y, that is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, what is y2 minus y1? y2 minus y1 means 4 minus 4 divided by x2 minus x1 which is 5 minus of minus 3. Now 4 minus 4 is 0, right? So we get slope of 0 over 5 plus 3 is 8 and anything divided by 0 is 0. So we did get slope of 0, correct? Now slope is 0, so let's find what is y-intercept b. So for that, as usual, first we'll write our equation with the slope. So we get our equation as, let me change the ink. We'll write the equation as y equals to 0 for m, right? 0 times x plus b. Good. To find b, we'll select a point. Let's select 5 and 4. Both are positive. Good points to take. 4 equals to 0 times 5 plus b and 0 times anything is 0 therefore we get b equals to 4 perfect so there we are 
we know slope and we also know the y-intercept. Let's write down what do we know. So we know that slope m equals to 0 and y-intercept b equals to 4. Therefore, the equation y equals to mx plus b can be written as y equals to m is 0, 0x zero plus b, 0. We need not write just 4. So y equals to number 4, right? So that is the equation of our line in the form of y equals to mx plus b for a horizontal line. Do you see? So whenever the line is horizontal, the equation is y equals to y intercept. So I can write it is equals to y equals to b, right? Because in this equation, if I put x as 0, I get b, right? That is what it is. If I put x as 0, y is b. Do you see? Horizontal line means y equals to b, where horizontal line also means slope m is 0. It's not rising, it's not falling, correct? That is what you need to remember. So that's a very interesting case. A horizontal line has an equation which is so simple as y equals to the y-intercept, correct? Or if many points are given, all the y values. You will note that any point on this line, AB, will have y coordinate as 4 only, right? X could change, x could be anything, any real number, but y will be 4. So that's a very interesting case. A horizontal line has zero slope and the equation of horizontal is, horizontal line is y equals to y intercept. The question for you to answer is, what is the x-intercept of this line? Does it have a x-intercept? It will never, never cross x-axis since it is parallel to x-axis, correct? So remember, these two lines are parallel, the x-axis and the horizontal line. So they will never cross the x-axis, so there is no x-intercept for a horizontal line, right? Remember that, y equals to b. However, there is one horizontal line which has many x-intercepts and that's for you to find out what is the equation of that line, okay? So that's a challenging question which I'm going to ask again in my test. Thank you.